I hate to say it. I think we're going to see a run. There's too many people pumping this crap. And there's, I just think that there's too many credible names. You've got BlackRock, for Christ's sake, the third largest cryptocurrency holder. I'd buy that for a Oh, no, please. Thanks for the TCR show. It's been long overdue, brother. Oh, uh, yeah. Really needed this. Oh, I great. enjoy listening to it to make your wife come as she's asleep. All right, that's enough. I'm going to bend her over and slam her harder than Daryl Brooks did to the Christmas parade in Waukesha. What? Look. All right, look, we were starting off very good, okay? The last thing I need is a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin messing with me right now on a baller Friday, all right? I mean, they've got a lot of things to talk about out here. I don't need my time wasted by a bunch of fucking jerk-offs, excuse my French, that are going to deviate where I'm going with the show. <sighs> all right, and by the way, not only is it Jamie Dimon saying that cryptocurrency needs to be taken out, Guess who it is? The witch of the banks. All right, Mrs. Financial, I care about the people herself. None other than Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren. That's right, folks. Elizabeth Warren, update. Bank secrecy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Buy that for a dollar. All right, don't donate to me in Turkish lira, you piece of crap. I'm not acknowledging those, all right? Anyway, according to Elizabeth Warren, all right, crypto is linked to terrorist financing and drug trafficking. And according to her, North Korea's nuclear weapons program is being funded by cryptocurrency. Now, I have no idea how that's possible. All right, and by the way, I'd buy that uh, hold for on. Chop liver, what is People it? People call you a boomer. You call millennials and Zoomers man babies. But what about us Gen Xers? Are we chopped liver to you guys? Well, well, let me explain. Gen Xers are the ones that are actually attempting to come up. The unfortunate part about Gen Xers, and it's it's you know just on a side note, since somebody donated, Gen X tried to grow up a little too fast, and as a result, got all emotional about it. That's what that whole grunge movement was about. Believe it or not, a good movie that depicts this is a movie uh, called Singles in the 90s, actually based out of 90s Bay Seattle, and it depicts this very appropriately when it comes to the Gen Xers. I think they grew up way too fast, and uh, I think they're still recovering, I'll be honest with you. But thank you, Chop Lever, I appreciate it. But once again, I don't know, Mr. America, I can't believe this! Every time I bring it up, ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus, can you skip this racist crap? Fool, 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 Fool. that crap! Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, every time I have some little verbal fisticuff by some magatard on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. So I literally have those neutrino beams, you know, beam into my head every single day. And as I wake up every single day and see the stupidity that humanity is voluntarily doing on itself... It makes sense. I'm just saying, it, it makes sense. What is it, President J? I swear to God, if you mod f the Luxray, I will find your trailer in San Antonio. Oh, Go yeah. there in the dead of night when you sleep, take off your pants, and slip my 15 and a half inch long yeah, into your great. tight asshole that's and great. go ham on that ass. You see, I'm over here talking about some serious subject matters that affect everybody, and this is what you troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags are doing on a goddamn Baller Friday. All right, give me a goddamn break. This is a clear indication, and I, I've said this on the show many times. The, oh, I'd Jesus. buy that for a dollar. Come on, man. Fool. Fool. Man, Fool. get that Fool. Shit Fool. and stop. Fool. Fool. Get Fool. that crap. All right, that's about enough of the racism, please. All right, I'm, I'm talking about some serious subject matters here. All right, that affect me, that affect you. So cut the crap. Anyway, as I was stating, Hunter Biden hit with new uh, nine tax-related charges on top of the federal gun charge. The state of the Republican Party at this point in time. It's a disgrace. And uh, hold on, we got Urinator with a rumble rat. That's cool about Gavin, but how does that relate to you? Yeah, all right, listen. Take about 10 I steps away from my freaking butt dollar. crack, Urinator. I hate serious talk. Well, you know what, Francis? Get the hell out of here if you don't like serious talk, you stupid, low-grade, disposable, road trash, autistic loser. Get the hell out of here! Nobody's asking you to sit here and listen, you stupid moron! 
Anyway, we got Ghost is my man over there with a the rumble rant. Will you give us a ghost show tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to do a goddamn uh, Saturday night troll show. And uh, urinator, uh, organized GOP events at the 2015 nightclub, dude. That's a gay club in San Antonio. You piece of trash. How the hell do you even know that? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating before, I got rudely interrupted by a bunch of people in Rumble that are giving Rumble rants out here. All right, we're looking like a joke. And if it isn't the presidential nominees looking like a joke, because I'm not voting for any of these jokers, all right? So what the fuck are we standing for as conservatives, as, as GOP, as Republicans? What are we standing for? We're not standing for anything. We have no policies. We have no ideas. It's pathetic. And you see, you try to tell this. Oh, I Jesus Christ. You son of a bitch. I'm so bored. Can you just get then the get the hell out of here if you're bored. Z get Z out! Z Z Z Z Z Z Z fuck Z Z Z Z Z Z Skip that racist shit. Skip that racist crap. I buy that for a Oh god, come on. Ryan's grandpa's heartless. What? All right, look, that's about enough. Look, I I'm trying to be serious here, man. I'm trying to talk talk from the heart. I'm trying to talk from the heart here, and all you people are doing is trying to troll me, for Christ's sake, man. It's time for you to stop fucking playing games and stop thinking that everything's a goddamn joke and start standing up for your fucking country. You fucking ungrateful pricks. And we got Mama Luigi with a rumble rant. This may sound dumb, but how much you want to make a bet that Texas is going to turn blue? Greg Abbott is going to lose. They've been saying that forever, Mama Luigi, and guess what? They're wrong. And you want to know why? Because we don't want no blue garbage in Texas, boy. All right, this is Texas. All right? I mean, our whole spirit was made on rebellion and independence. All right, long live the Texas martyrs. And how dare you even suggest that, Mama Luigi? But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted here, all right? RNC's Ronna McDaniel, she needs to step down. She is a complete loser. She doesn't know what she's talking about. The politicians are running roughshod out here in the RNC, and we need to get down to brass tacks. We need to figure out what the fuck we stand for, and having this stupid ditzy broad as the chair is not making it happen. And he's using that to pay off his legal bills and all these goddamn trials that he has. What is it, Anonymous? Ghost, I just wanted to let you know that Ryan's fiance Crystal is getting Eiffel Towered while he's listening to Adam 22 in his shack chair. WWWWWW, right, w you're a fat fucking. Dude, whoever you are, I hope you get cancer of the cock, you fucking piece of trash, all right? Uh, and of course, you would talk, and you would talk all that crap behind an anonymous son of a bitch. All right, look, I'm sorry. I'm getting flustered here. I've got a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin folks. You know, all of you people that are like, hey, man, I, I wouldn't mind becoming a live streamer. And yeah, meh, meh, meh. you're going to have to put up with this nonsense. Uh, you're going to have to put up with this crap. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, Trump is racing against the clock as criminal trials and 2024 election nears. And like I said, all the damn donations that he's getting from campaign contribution funds is going right to his legal troubles. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. All right. All right. Yeah, th thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I'll get to you in, se in a second, Ordinary Cracker. But as I was stating, Trump, this is what we have. This is the current state of the Republican Party. And by the way, we got Urinator with another rumble rant. I nominate myself, Men Ray, Hair of the Dog, King of Bugs as the first contestants. Is oh, Mrs. Ghost okay with anal? Dude, shut up, all right? Everybody just shut your stupid, stankin' salmon smelling holes with all this freaking disgusting, despicable nonsense that you people are trying to come at me with. I don't appreciate it, all right? I mean, I deserve more respect. I'm here on a baller Friday trying to spark synapses in you people. And do you people give two rat's asses? No! <laughs> Jesus, God, look at this. Look at that. Look at this crap. Look at this. Stop it! Jesus Christ, man! Enough of the text of speeches, especially if it's racism or some kind of sexual perversion, for Christ's sake. Anyway, as I was stating, 
trumpet. Oh, <laughs> I'd God. buy that for a dollar. What's up, ghost? When's the next show? Keep on keeping good, sir. Hey, what's going on to shoe team? Bl what's going on, man. Hey, I, dude, the next show is pro. I don't know now. I thought it was going to be tomorrow. I don't know by the way it's going right now. I can tell you that right now. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to do a decent Baller Friday true capitalist radio show. And as you can see, these troll terrorists, cyber vermin, I mean, they're coming at me pretty bad. I don't appreciate it, all right? Anyway, as I was stating, Trump is building a loyalty first cabinet. And these are people that were loyal to him that haven't caught too much flack and haven't lost everything yet. And I mean, where's Trump's loyalty? Trump's loyal to no one. Trump is loyal. He's not even loyal to his own family. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, wait a minute. This is an audio file. <laughs> hey, girl. Oh, hey, not buddy. this fucking guy. I know what one way. Dad, you know we in the inner circle. I oh, was wondering God. why in the inner circle. You, you've you been posting how you want us to donate and support for the Hamas campaign. That's bullshit! I was wondering why, why you... I don't know what that is, but you want to support a Hamas campaign. Also, Miss Goes is the one with do. She, Miss Go, you want to say you want to have a question what? for him? Yeah, yeah. What was with not letting no more boys? What the in, fuck? In a circle for support of the Hamas. Oh, you I, want more boys? I love or more like you. Oh, you, I know you like fucking that, piece of shit! You fucking stupid piece of God damn it! Stupid God damn son of a God damn it! God damn it! I thought we fucking got rid of that guy! I thought we got rid of that guy, man! Jesus Christ. I'm, so, I'm sorry, folks. For y'all, If y'all are wondering what the hell happened, you know, on donation alerts, you have the option to upload an audio file. And this idiot, this guy that's calling himself J Money, not the real J Money, by the way, he used to do this all the fucking time when I was over there at YouTube. He used to do this shit all the time when I was over there at YouTube, and now he's followed me over here. I mean, that's the whole reason why I'm doing this True Capitalist Radio on Rumble and on, uh, on DLive. It's, it's <laughs> avoid the I trolls! For a dollar. I'm trying to avoid the damn trolls, man. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I better calm down. I'm, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little flustered here. Let's just put it that way, all right? <sighs> Anyway, let's see. Uh, we got Ordinary Cracker uh, who hooked it up with a link and said, Ghost is just carrying the torch. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. Ooh, ooh, no, ooh, no, that Skip Fuck it, Skip it. God damn it, you trolls, man. God damn you all to hell. God. Anyway, as a... Uh, <laughs> Huge asshole! You don't even have to be here. You should be out on 6th Street right now with a bean in your can shaking it. Happy Burnout Friday, yeah, Tokoler. Yeah, fuck you, dude, alright? What are you fucking talking? I'm a capitalist asshole, alright? Don't be fucking confusing me as some four-flushing bum on the street, alright? I'm a fucking capitalist, and I deserve the respect accorded that title, by the way. Anyway, Ghost is just carrying the to uh, God I'd damn it, what do you fucking want? Listen, I'm not acknowledging any donations that are donated in fucking Turkish Lira, all right? Shove that Turk shit up your ass and donate me in a fucking American money. And don't, do not donate to me in rubles. The last thing I need is a fucking flagging by the FBI and shit. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, uh, Ghost is just trying to carry the torch. Also, interview... Calvin for Fro Edge on the show. And then he left a link. I'll take a look at it in a second. Then we got Five Finger Prostate Punch who said, You ain't going nowhere, bitch. Sit there as we put another quarter in the jukebox. Good to see J Money back. I thought we got fucking rid of that dude. I swear to God, man. Oh, uh, there's Marshall Burnsy. What's up, dude? Sup, Ghost. Happy Baller Friday. Happy Baller Friday. Just finished work and now I'm ready to relax. Shout outs to the Ick. That Balrog Crispy Critter Low Tier God and Usen Blade for showing the moon on his last stream. 
Hey, well, thank you very much. And yeah, I did see that. And here's what Ordinary Cracker wanted me to take out. Cooper's radio show became increasingly filled with solicitations for cash. According to the uh, FBI files, Cooper told his audience that he would have to stop broadcasting if they didn't send more money. Cooper, the... Uh, Oh, it's, uh, dude, Ghost is my man. Can you fucking shove it up your ass out there at the Rumble Ranch, please, for Christ? <laughs> ah, shit, George Soros! Ghost, don't you see? We've already won. We are simply reaping our rewards now. We have put everyone to sleep. We're the light bearers now, and we now shine. George we Soros! The American spirit. Why do you go on, Ghost? Just look at your chat. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Dude, don't dollar. donate to me at fucking rubles, dude. I'm going to get a fucking FBI red flag and shit, and the next thing you know, I'm going to have one of those fucking G-men shoved up my fucking ass for the next fucking two weeks. Anyway, as I was saying, Cooper, the cantankerous type, of, or by nature, excuse me, picked fights with other conspiracy and UFO experts and broadcasters. Someone who landed on Cooper's bad side earned his wrath and was usually ex... Uh, Okay, okay. What's the point? One former acquaintance whose name was redacted by the FBI said he fantasized about using Cooper's wooden leg to deliver a beating to him. So what are you saying? Are you, are you trying to say I'm like a honeypot or some shit? Is that what you're trying to say? Are you trying to say that I'm some kind of a fucking honeypot or so? I, I, what the hell's going on here? And by the way, I, I don't appreciate you people like, you know, screwing with my show here. I'm trying to be serious business. All right, I'm trying to talk about how Trump has ruined the Republican Party and the Republicans are damaged for at least the next fucking 10 years minimum. At least the next 10 years minimum. And Trump is talking about building a loyalty first cabinet. Oh, God, I'm just so sick. And do you people care? You people don't even give a shit. You people don't even care. Oh, God. I don't even know why I try, dude. I, I swear to God, I don't even know why I try. But guess what? Trump is not going to be stopped. He's going to take it all the way to the Supreme Court. And I can't believe I used to support this guy. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. All right. That's great. All right. First of all, I don't even go to that fucking place. First of all, not only is it overpriced, it sucks. All right, Fleming sucks. I'd buy that. So I don't for a give dollar. a shit. You can fucking write all the reviews you want on that fucking joint. I don't give a shit. That fucking place sucks a cock with it. All right. I mean that that fucking uh, steak they had over there was chewier than some broad's clitoris that hangs down be below her knees, for heaven's sake. And I don't mean to be so vulgar, but I'm just saying my personal review of the joint. Anyway, let me get to another uh, buy me a coffee here. Put the PC shot on. It's five finger prostate punch once again. It would be a serious show if you stopped reading from the same old tired script and do some actual current news. What do you think I'm doing, you fucking jerk off? What do you think I'm doing here? All right, I'm out here trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks out here. All right, I'm not out here fucking fanning my nuts with opinion. All right, I'm showing documentation so that any postulation that I'm putting forth on this broadcast that can have some substance to it, you dumb fucking piece of trash. Oh, God, man. Jesus Christ. No wonder they want you all to fucking eat the bugs, for heaven's sake, man. No shit. You know, all of you people that are talking garbage, you just wait until you eat deep fried crickets, sleep in a capsule, and own nothing, and you'll be happy. Fucking milky liquors, all of you. All of you that are talking garbage to me, man. I should fucking, I should. Oh, Jesus, what now? Dollar. What? Can someone get this little bastard to stop smoking oh, Tether Hydro Cannabinol and to do a ghost show instead? You fuck. Your wives in the naughty list for being a ho ho ho. You guys are fucking pieces of shit, dude. Serious. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you guys are gonna have to give me a fucking break here. All right, seriously, you guys gotta give me a fucking break. I mean, I'm trying to do a show, but man, you guys are fucking coming at me and coming at me. and coming. It's very demoralizing, man. You know that? It's demoralizing. And then you wonder why I don't want to fucking show up to a goddamn ghost show? Huh? It doesn't get through that fucking thick skull of yours why I don't want to show up to one. You're not even giving me the common courtesy to do a fucking go a two capitalist radio show, let alone a ghost I show. That for a dollar. Yeah, fuck off, sticks the real tech. Go fuck yourself, all right? 
Stupid piece of shit. I heard his latest rant, old sticks. He said, yeah, I think that uh, George Santos should stay in as House of Representatives just because I'm trying to be an edgelord. <laughs> I'd buy that Oh, for Jesus a Christ. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, listen. Stop posting reviews to San Antonio steakhouses. I can't show my face at the fucking San Francisco steakhouse ever again. And I patronize that place a lot. I know the people there, I know, and you people have ruined it. I'm afraid to even go there anymore because they're going to be like, Hey, uh, have you been writing weird reviews? Or I don't know what's going on. What's going on here? I don't want, I don't, I don't want to be in that position. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, not this fucking guy again. God damn it, man. No. Hey, guys, it's bad guy. I was just wondering. Jesus Christ. Why you said when all the stuff, you don't like Trump no more, and you don't like that, but when you in the inner circle... You was posting all of this stuff that you want him to come back and you want to erect him again. But bullshit! I just was wondering why you're saying that, but then on the show you're saying that you don't like him. <laughs> oh, oh that's good. God, you! Yep. That smells like. Oh no! Fucking stupid fucking asshole! Ah! Oh, fucking ruin my bowl, Friday! Ah, fuck! Get this shit out of here! Get this fucking shit out of here! <sighs> All right, man, I'm 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 tired, dude. All right, y'all are starting to piss me off now. I thought that we were gonna have ourselves a decent Baller Friday serious show here on the True Capitalist Radio, and I could see it's being deviated into a whole fucked up fucking shitbird direction. <sighs> I'm fucking done, dude. I'm I'm serious. I'm fucking wasting a baller Friday with you fucking people here, huh? I'm wasting my baller Friday here, man. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folk. <sighs> Son of a bitch. You know what? Let me calm down. You know, let me do some Twitter shoutouts. All right. Let me do some Twitter shoutouts. All right. And for all those that want a Twitter shoutout, let's go ahead and let me show everybody. Put the PC shot on. All right. Go to my Twitter account or X account. Here it is, The Ghost Report, all right? All one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report. And retweet this tweet right here, all right? True Capitalist Radio. Oh, I'd buy God. That for a dollar. What the hell is this? Now, take that off. No, don't. No, no. No, don't do it. Stop leaving reviews in my name, you fuck. Buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. And urinator. Uh, you don't want a cream pie or what? Shut up, urinator. God damn it. Jesus Christ. All right. Just retweet this tweet. All right. I'll give you a shout out live right here on the broadcast if you retweet this tweet. All right. Let's see who retweeted it here. We got, uh, we got Erasnatok. We got We Gaiman, a uh, Foxo Cat victim. We got Oku's Big Jiggly Boobies. We got Cornbread Man, The Green Thunder, My Prolapse Anus, real funny, Ghost Watching Matar. I'm not watching that shit. I don't even know why that guy's even fucking popular. Uh, Jesse D. Spent, Colonel Transisco in the house, Mama Luigi, Ghost Ruined America. No, America ruined itself. Uh, Yanni Rap, King of Bugs, Al Sneed, Hambolius, Ghost likes Japanese bondage porn. No, I just know about it. Like, I did extensive research into Japanese bondage porn because some of the knots that they... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Shut up, all right? We got Crack Alasco. Uh, taco stand on the Texas Martyrs burial ground. Fuck you. Uh, ghost got a fine ass. Fuck you. Uh, ghost is a neocon rhino. Fuck you. Uh, the TCR equals three-hour edging session. Fuck you. Uh, Ghost gave his battle buddy a bro job in Vietnam. Fuck you. Adrian Rules. Uh, Fenix Clan Clan. Poncho Mancanto. Genitals Fan Club. Ouija Slayer. Paul Petto Danino. Prolapse Pete. Insane Cesspools of Shame. Wood Chipper One Ghost Penis Zero. Fuck you. Captain Cheesecake. Ghostler. Uh, a gang my wife get that fucking guy out of here the troll in the interwebs cheers to you man happy baller friday time for peanut butter special come uh, i'm not gonna say that we got this stupid asshole hair of the dog that's always shit talking garbage on twitter we got captain slap nuts we got ghosts oh, excuse me the silverado dude mf the state 
Cat Cans, Jag the Lux Ray, the Bug Chaser, Train Fan 320, and Rock Ape stock down a thousand percent. You fucking piece of trash. We got Vinny Kills, we got Dak Off P, Pertrick Stir, Paco Taco, Stream Troll Mike, President J, uh, Shu Ting, Bl I'm not gonna say that fucking name. We got uh, Women Are Stinky Holes, Sissy CD. Dude, you're a sick person. Whoever Sissy CD is, you're a sick piece of trash. Stop following me. You're a sick fuck. And that's about. I think we're. I think we're done. I got cask strength in the house. What's going on? Nathan Gale, headhunter. Fuck you. Uh, Ghostina Redford. Fuck you too. All right. I think we are done with uh, Twitter shoutouts. All right. That was just a little bit of an interlude that I needed because these damn troll terrorists and cyber vermin, man, they really piss me off. I mean, they're really chapping my ass, man. I'm trying to do a show here, and as you can see, they're doing everything in their power to try to deviate the damn show from the seriousness that I'm trying to convey on here to whatever direction that these troll terrorists actually want. All right, and I don't get it, and I don't even want to get it. All right, how about that shit? But anyway, let's transition, no pun intended, from domestic politics and news to international news. And by the way, Colonel Transisco with a ninja guinea. Buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. No, Ooh. no, Ooh. that Ooh. shit. Ooh. That racist crap. We don't condone that garbage here, you fucking son of a bitch. Anyway, Colonel Transisco with a ninja guinea over there at D Live. He said, fun fact Chris Christie would have been the second fattest U.S. president since Taft in 1909 to 1913 if elected president. Well, cheers to Colonel Transisco, and thank you for listening, and thank you for that little tidbit. Cheers to you, man. All right. Anyway, as I was stating, this is why Putin has left Russia and is meeting with Saudi Arabia and UAE. All right? They're spooked. They don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, oil is their bread and butter. Because as I stated on the last broadcast, the funding for Ukraine, at least from America, is just about up. It's just about up. Oh, God, no, not this guy again. God somebody. damn it. I was just wondering, because I'm with Mrs. Ghost right now, because, you know, we have, you have an agreement where I pleasure Mrs. Ghost since you can't do it no more. You're impotent. You so son I, of a I, bitch. I'm pleasuring her. But I was asking her why you don't talk about with your son no more. And Mrs. Ghost, what you said happened with, with your son? Unfortunately, Mr. Ghost started to gain a sexual attraction. Are you fucking oh, piece of shit? Yeah, that's fucking. Oh, I mean, you never talk about that in the in a circle. That's really fucking crazy to be honest. You a fucking. You fucking piece of shit! God damn fucking piece of shit! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, damn it! God damn it! Get the shit out of here! Fucking shit out of here! Listen. I'm telling you all right the fuck right now. If y'all don't cut this shit, I'm getting the fuck off this show, all right? I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. I don't need you people leaving some foul mouth audio file on donation alerts, you piece of shit! Jesus fucking Christ. And look, Colonel Transisco with a diamond. Hashtag true perv tard radio. Yeah, after that goddamn voice uh, uh, audio file, I don't blame you for thinking that there, Colonel Transisco. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. If y'all continue to do this, I'm going to get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, I'm getting the hell. Dollar. What is it, Ethan? Love the show, man. I've been listening to you since I was 12. You inspire me every day. I recently found myself with a lot of time on my hands, so I'll continue to listen. All right. Cheers. Hey, cheers to Ethan Crumley, man. I appreciate that. Cheers to you. I mean, I wish there was more text-to-speeches like that. I mean, why does it always have to be some disgusting, despicable, perverted troll or some racist? Huh? I mean, why can't, you know, some people that are out there that listen to the substance of the show, man, why don't y'all fucking be like, hey, ghost, we appreciate you, man. It's not just a bunch of tards listening to you. We, we're we hearing you. We hear you, ghost. Oh, my God. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, Biden is pleading with Republicans because the Republicans are refusing to vote on any kind of funding for Ukraine. And it certainly does not want the Ukraine to fall to Putin, at least under its tenure. 
So Biden is like, hey, I'm open to anything. Hey, what's up, Jake? Love the show, brother. You inspire me to be the way that I am. Cheers while I do some shots. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are, are, are you naming yourselves after, like, mass shooters or something? You fucking pieces of shit, dude. All right? I'm going to take some shot. You guys are fucking pieces of crap, dude. All right? I'm actually trying to do a show here. And for you people to sit here and make a mockery of it fucking pisses me off. Now, this is your last warning to each and every one of you that are out there. Y'all better cut the crap or I'm in this damn broadcast. And I might not even show up tomorrow for the Saturday Night Troll Show. Because I look, if y'all want a Saturday Night Troll Show, stop trolling this fucking show. All right, if y'all want internet tomfoolery on the weekend, stop trolling the True Capitalist Radio Show. Do you understand that the True Capitalist Radio Show is serious business, you pieces of trash? And this is not a show to be made a mockery of? Son of a bitch. And Colonel Transisco with another Ninja Gini, and he said, which concerns me, uh, which concerns you more, encountering a man-sized spider or encountering a man-sized bipedal dog? I don't know, I never thought about that there, Colonel Transisco, but I would say a man-sized spider, because a dog, you can always throw them a bone, and, you know, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll go and fetch, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, thank you, Colonel Transisco, and I'm sorry to all the folks that are listening that want to hear the substance uh, and, and all the uh, political and, and social commentary that yours truly is trying to convey on this broadcast, but as you can see, it's very hard to conduct yourself on a broadcast when you got a bunch of troll terrorists, cyber vermin, <laughs> that are trying that to fuck with you. Can someone get this little bastard to end the damn show already? All right, dude, that's enough. All right, I should have never have told you that story from my childhood, man. And now, every fucking Christmas, you assholes never let me live it down. You never let me live it down. And we got Jag the Luxray in the D live chat with a diamond and said, those trolling are the same people. Those ones trolling are the same people. You know what? I, I hear you, Jag the Luxray. I hear you, man. We on D live are behind you. Look at that. Jag the Luxray, man. Cheers to you in the D live chat. And cheers to all the D live chatters out there showing love to old Ghost over here. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Can you give that tired old script a rest already? We heard this 1,000 times already. Can you get to RG? Hey, five-finger prostate punch it. Get the fuck out of here if you don't like it, you stupid fucking jerk dick. All right, nobody's asking you to fucking stay here, you fucking used dental damn having enema bag cleaning sphincter fingering jerk. that for a dollar. Ted Bundy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look. Stop donating me in fucking Turkish Lira. This is the last warning from you people. Stop donating me in fucking Turkish Lira. I can't stand that shit. All right? That fucking goddamn fiat currency is down like 300%. Don't donate to me in that Turk shit. I'm sorry, folks. I, I, look, I'm going to get back to the show here. Let me take another hit of the tobacco here. All right, once again, I scored this tobacco from a Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. You know, we got a lot of Mexicans walking around out here in San Antonio, man. So, you know, it's it kind of par for the course. So anyway, let me go ahead and smoke here. We're going to get back to the show, all right? All right. Got to hold it in and let it hit the brain. You know what I mean? Hold it in and let it hit the brain. All right. As I was stating... Biden is so desperate now for some kind of Ukraine funding that now he's willing to capitulate on border security in return for Ukraine aid. Now, are the, are the Republicans going to bite on this? I mean, because in my opinion, I think that the Republicans, if they were smart and not a bunch of fucking uh, self-destructive assholes, they would use this much like Newt Gingrich would use this opportunity to pass some legislation that actually is a win for those on the right. Uh, anyway, as I was stating, uh, let's see if uh, the Republicans can capitalize on the desperation of Biden and this Ukraine funding package. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. And look at Peter Scully. Sup, Ghost. I've been a long-time listener since you were doing true conservative radio. Your political and financial insight inspired me to become a capitalist. Cheers, baby. Cheers. All right. I, I don't know that I'd name. Buy that for a Adam Lanz, I know that You've name. You've been a huge inspiration to me since 2012. Come on. Take some shots with me before I go to class. 
Dude, whoever's donating these fucking mass shooters and shit, you guys are sick bastards, man. Seriously, you guys are macabre bastards. I mean, do you people have a soul, for heaven's sake, man? You're macabre, dude. Fucking macabre. You know what? Since uh, the folks in D-Live are giving me so much love, dude, I'm going to give 500 lemons in the treasure chest. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 500 lemons in the treasure chest right now for the D-Live folks. Go ahead and put it in there. All right, I'm telling you right now, you people that are over here in the Rumble chat, I thought that y'all would be the cool chat. We got a lot of folks that are members in Rumble chat, but also we got a lot of troll terrorist cyber vermin bastards that have found Rumble over there, and I don't like it, and I don't like it one bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to what I was discussing here. Uh, since we're continuing on... Uh, Scott Peterson! It's the guy that killed his Thanks wife! Thanks for doing a show. I like to listen to it while I'm out on my boat. Soaking up the sights and sounds of the San Francisco Bay. That's not funny. We're enjoying you a lot over here, with me, That's my wife and son, Lil Connor Peterson. That's not funny. Thanks for the great work. Dude, Scott Peterson killed his wife and his fucking son. Dude, you're a sick... Dude, stop! Look, cut the shit! All right? You guys are harsh in my mellow on a fucking baller Friday. I can tell you that right now. Y'all are harsh in my fucking mellow, man. I mean, I wanted to go into this fucking weekend all woohoo and shit, and you people are harsh in my fucking I'd mellow, buy dude. That for a dollar. What? Five finger prostate punch? And what is. Oh, wait, that's a. What are you talking That's a fucking Turkish lira don't know. I'm not fucking acknowledging that, you piece of shit. And we got Colonel Transisco once again with another diamond over there at D Live. Do they have souls, Ghost? No. I'd buy that for a I don't dollar. think they do. Hey, Ghost. Mr. Nguyen! I wanted to rub it in that Vietnam is best country there is. You have been great failure to me. What? You have lost again and now our women are on punji sticks. God has blessed Vietnam who been good country. Ooh. V for Vietnam. Common G-I-L. What the hell are you talking about there, Mr. Nguyen? Jesus Christ, you fucking goddamn c Anyway, uh, look! Do everybody just shut up and let me get back to the fucking Russia Ukraine, please, all right? Let me get back to Russia Ukraine. Anyway, Russia, now that it's in this leverage position and know that it's kind of winning in this conflict with Ukraine. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gary dollar. Glitter, what, man? Hey, Ghost. What? Love the show. You have inspired me to become a capitalist, which has led me to help school children oh, in various ways. That's a pedophile, Now I'm man. off to the Southeast Asia to help out underprivileged Dude, youth there. that's enough, all right? All of you I people, that's that a fucking... A Special Agent Stephen Haynes! Hello again, Mr. Albin. Once again, we can see that not only are you receiving money from some problematic individuals, that's not funny but you either. are also receiving them in Russian currency. That's not no funny. No need to worry, we'll just have to keep a physical eye on you for a few months. That's not fucking funny, dude. Seriously. After that January 6th shit, I had these fuckers come up to me and chat. I don't want to, dude, just don't even kid around about that shit. All right? Don't even kid around about that shit. And for all those that don't know, uh, after January 6th, I had to lay low for a log for like six months. All right? Like, drop off the internet. Why? Because, uh, dare I say, there were people in the inner circle there in January 6th streaming what was... Never mind. I shouldn't even say anything. Never mind. And we got this fucking J Money asshole for fuck's sake. Hey, that was just me again. Oh, I was God. Just, I was just fake about... Jesus Christ. About how, when I was at the West Weetod Con... What? With, uh, with what engineer when we was at the WeTag Con. He was talking about how after the show, you guys like to hang out, have a couple minutes. You, you have more time after the show than oh, you listen Jesus to you Christ. like to listen to music. And uh, he was saying this one was your favorite song to listen to. You son of a bitch. Dude. Boss. Dude, I've had enough! I've had enough of it! Oh, fuck, God damn fucking shit! I've had enough of this shit! Alright, I'm trying to do a show! Don't you understand that? I'm sorry to all the folks out there that actually want to listen to, you know, some serious commentary out here. I'm sorry, man, but this is what I gotta fucking put up with on a consistent goddamn basis, man. Jesus Christ, that fucking Jay. I thought we got rid of that fucking piece of shit, dude. I thought we got rid of that fucking guy, man. 
I thought we got rid of that fucking guy, man. Anyway, Colonel Transisco over there in D Live said, "Ghost a Keebler elf? Yay or nay?" In chat, I don't think I'm a Keebler elf. What are you talking about, man? All right, look, everybody, just shut up when you're talking to me in chat. All right, everybody, shut the fuck up when you're talking to me in chat. All right, let me take one more smoke and let me get on with what I was saying about Ukraine, Russia here. All right, I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to know the commentary that I have to say about this subject matter, but I keep getting deviated because of you fucking jerks. All right. All right. I mean, just calm down, all right? All right. As I was stating. Okay. Uh, Casey Anthony? What the fuck? From the sounds of it, your children came out okay and grew to be well-rounded adults and parents. Have you considered doing a child care section so you can share your secrets? Thanks for the great work. Keep it up. Dude. Fucking sick people, dude. You are fucking sick. Ah, uh, you people are fucking sick, man. I mean, I don't even know if I want to do the show after all this fucking malarkey, man. You people are fucking <laughs> sick. Nicholas <laughs> Jacob Cruz! Oh, these trolls. I love the show. Take a smoke with me. I'm late for class. It's that fucking guy that shut that high school in Florida, man. Can y'all cut it out? Cut it out, man! Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I'm sorry, folks. All right, I'm 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 having to put up with a bunch of troll terrorists here, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. But anyway, let me get back to Russia and Ukraine. Uh, did, now that Russia seems like it's in the driver's seat in this conflict, it is now trying to flex nuts at America. Take a look at this. Russia warns U.S. that Ukraine will be its second Vietnam. And I hope... <laughs> Oh, that God. For Dylan a Roof. Oh, come you on. You seem like a very angry person. You should try attending church. I've been in a much better place since I dude, started attending church. That's the dude, that's the fucking idiot that shot the church. Dude, you guys are sick, man. All right, you guys are fucking sick, twisted sons of bitches, man. This is supposed to be a Baller Friday show, and you people are, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to show up tomorrow, man. All right, I, I, dude, I have this all planned out for fucking Saturday Night Troll Show. We're going to do the first two hours fucking Dateline and Radio Graffiti, all this fucking bullshit, and you all had to fuck it up, all right? So go ahead, pad yourselves on the back for fucking everything up for everybody, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, I'd buy that Peyton Gerdrin, oh, God. Thanks for the show. It was because of you. Who's I doing finally this? have the courage to do what I needed to do. Who the fuck do. is doing this? I'm gonna this? go to the market. Want something? Who the fuck is doing this, dude? <laughs> who the Ronnie McNutt? That's the guy who commits. I first found out about your show in 2011. Ronnie McNutt. Your financial and political commentary have always been a real jaw dropper. Continue what you're doing despite all the trolls. All You've right. encouraged me to you... live with an open mind. I guess that's it. Open mind. Live with an open mind. This guy blew his fucking brains out. Open mind. You people are sick. Take the fucking PC shot off for Christ's sake. I'm sorry. If I'm trying to get to the news here, as you can see. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's move on. All right. Once again, Russia claiming that Ukraine could be America's Vietnam. And Zelensky had actually planned to meet with some U.S. Republican lawmakers, but because uh, Republicans are being so staunch on this Ukrainian issue, take a look at this, Zelensky has canceled his plans to address U.S. lawmakers as fate of aid is in balance on allied military <laughs> aid, all right? Uh, you have to keep an eye out for trolls. Yeah, uh, thank you. Charles Albright, by the way. Yeah, I keep an eye out for trolls. Look, these trolls keep coming to me, man. I mean, why do you think here I'm on Rumble and I'm on D-Life? I'm trying to evade the trolls, and they find me, man. They're like a bad case of herpes, man. They never really go away. And Ghost, my man, said, uh, Rumble Chat loves you. Radio Graffiti... Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, Ukraine aims to... Uh, and re, uh, re, <laughs> I'm so fucking flustered because of these people. I'm sorry, folks. I, I don't know if I could do this show, man. I mean... I, these people are flapping their fat fucking Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard, talking a bunch of shit in the chat room, and I'm looking at these chat rooms go 100 miles an hour. They're talking nothing but a bunch of malarkey at me, and it's kind of hard to keep a fucking straight thought process in all this crap. I'm sorry if I'm flustered, man. I'm sorry. You know what? Let me let me empty this fucking let me empty my pipe here. All right. 
Let me empty my pipe here. I'm sorry, all right? I'm, t- I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm trying to do the show. All of you folks that are listening out there, I am definitely trying to do the show. <sighs> Jesus Christ. And by the way, I've actually had some requests for signed cans again. And uh, by the way, signed cans are going on sale later on tonight. All right? Just for a week so you can get them before Christmas. All right? So just FYI. For all the folks that were emailing me on Ghost.Report saying, Hey, I want one of those signed cans. They're coming up. We're out here in merry old England. What the hell? Liverpool to be exact. Robert Thompson and John Or more specifically the train tracks near Bootle. Listening to your show. It might seem like an odd spot, but it's where we always have the most fun. Keep up the good work. Take a hit, bro. I was just about to and now I don't want to because you're a sick fuck. Jesus Christ. And let me let me go ahead and smoke here. I'm sorry, all right? Yes, I'm free. I'm, I'm, the, the cans are going on sale again. Yes. But because the, the numbers are in the higher range, like I think one through a hundred and something have already been taken. I think, I, I, don't, I don't know what the number is, all right? We're going to begin from the number that was left off and you know that that's that's what it's going to be. It just it, it, it is what it is. And look, all of you people that are talking garbage, I actually had people, I actually had people that wanted uh, you know to have access to the. Uh, all right, all right, you know what? Go fuck you. All you people are pieces of shit. All right, this is for the folks that are the fans out there. I'm not talking about you fucking weirdos that are being pieces of garbage. All right. And what is this? Mama Luigi said, uh, "Can they be other alcohol sodas or energy drink cans?" Uh, uh, no, not, not, no, I don't think so, Mama Louise. They're, they're cans of beer that I've drank, and I'm, I'm signing them. They're numbered the whole nine yards. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and post the link now. Here, I'm posting the link in Rumble Chat, and I'm posting the link in goddamn, uh, I'm posting the link in goddamn D-Live. What is it? Chris Benoit! My family would love some of those signed cans. The cans are so breathtaking Chris that they Benoit. can't wake up right now. Anyway, gonna go exercise. Hope we can hang out later. All right, that's that's enough, dude. All right, give me a goddamn break. All right, give me a goddamn break. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Randy Stair. Longtime fan since 2011. Your commentary on white males and Nazi LARPers encouraged me to go out and get a girlfriend. She's a real baddie as you've been promoting on your show. I'm going to hook up with her after I get off my job at the supermarket. That dude, y'all are fucking sick people, dude. Serious, you know, you know, are sick. And by the way, I'm gonna give a discount. All right, all of you people. I buy that for a dollar. Oh, this fucking Boston bomber. Me and my brother bomber. Tamerlan have been doing a marathon of your show. The Boston bomber. And we really enjoy marath- your explosion oh, commentary. Jesus. Keep up the great work. Anyway, uh, if you want a a discount on the can, all right, you want a discount on the can? Uh, coupon code Ghost Can. All right. Uh, how do you like that coupon code ghost can you get yourself a discount so just just fyi all right anyway now that we've gotten that all out of the fucking way uh once again Zelensky says he doesn't want ukraine to rely solely on military aid i'm sure he wants money you know he wants he wants a little bit of cash for christ's sake and he's warning everybody because of the current position that russia is finding itself in which is obviously on a little bit of a winning side here. Zelensky warns the G7 against collapse of Western unity on Ukraine and that it could potentially spawn a global confrontation with Russia because if Russia takes control of Ukraine, what's stopping Russia from going elsewhere, even uh, into NATO countries? And this is where the threat of potential U.S. ground troops I'd buy that come for in. Oh, uh, do not J money again, for fuck's sake! Come on. Man. Is oh, I was just God. wondering why, when you talking all this bad stuff about Zawinski, when we in the inner circle, you was talking about how you support Zawinski. Ah, uh, both and you this fucking guy, man. God damn doing. it. And <coughs> all the other oh. things that he's doing for the country of the Wu Coin. And I and depending when you said something about uh, your son, Miss Ghost, what he said about uh, your son? This fucking guy. He said he was more proud of Zelensky than his own son, Ghost Jr. How? 
Wait, are you serious? Holy fucking shit, piece that of sounds shit. like what a fucking YOU thing. FUCKING PIECE OF SHIT! GOD DAMN IT! FUCKING FUCKER! Alright! Alright! I've had just about enough of this crap! I've had just about enough. At least we got Maria Maria in the D-Live chat. No White Claw or Bud Light cans. No, they're Stella Artos cans, all right? All right, look, I'm fucking tired of that J-Money asshole. And how this guy has some chick with him actually playing along with this shit is even more fucking pathetic. Fucking J money. Get the fuck out of here with that crap. And look, urinator with a rumble rant. Do you buy now, pay later on those cans? Dude, sh dude just shut up, man. All right. I I'm sorry I even brought this up now. I wanted to bring it up on the Saturday Night Troll Show, but by God. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely fucking interrupted, all right? Anyway, uh, Zelensky warns G7. Oh. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yak ass. Dude, that's not yak ass. I can't wait to waste my money on those rip-off cans. Get there. I'd buy that for a dollar. Come on, guys. It's a baller Friday TCR. We should celebrate. Well, Daryl E. Brooks Jr., uh... Uh, that's a fuck. I'm dude. I, thank you for the 15, but give me a fucking break. I, all right. I, yeah. Happy Baller Friday, but I'm not having a Happy Baller Friday. I can tell you that right now. They're Daryl E. Brooks. I'm not having a good Baller Friday. I can tell you that right. Goddamn now. All right. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to continue with the show. I mean, you folks that have bared with me and are staying and listening, I appreciate it. I'm trying to to continue with the show, but it's. It's fucking hard, man. It's hard. Anyway, once again, Zelensky getting desperate. You know, he's saying, please help me. A lot of contentious things going on in Ukraine right now, folks. And by the way, I think we got Pinochet. I think we got our first Pinochet. Bro. Hey, how you doing, Pinochet? Sorry, I'm, I'm yelling. I got these fucking trolls. I got these fucking trolls over here, for Christ's sake. Sorry, Pinochet. All right, Pinochet's my dog, if you're wondering, all right? I mean, he's uh, he's probably a little worried on why the hell I'm, you know, so flustered out here. <laughs> I'd buy uh, that this is why, dollar. Timothy McVeigh, this is why. Don't right let here. the trolls get you down. I'm really digging your financial and political commentary. This is why. You're the bomb. I'm the bomb. Timothy McVeigh, that's the guy who did the Oklahoma City fucking bombing, you fucking jerk off. Anyway, as I was stating, still cloak and dagger stuff going on over there. Uh, let's see what happens. But right now, it seems as if the uh, Russians are in the driver's seat. And it seems like Zelensky is losing grip on power. And he is certainly being eyeballed for removal by the Ukraine military. So let's see how long Zelensky will last before he's finally removed from power. And like I said, I'll be surprised if he makes it another two months. Combined with the policies of Xi Jinping are the reason why China is going down and China is in a very desperate situation right now. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Salvador Ramos. Love the show. Oh, About to Christ. take a drive in my grandma's F-150. Come on, I'll man. I'll take some shots later. Cheers, baby, cheers. Dude, this is enough. All right, you people got to give me a fucking break. Seriously, dude, y'all, you fucking guys are gonna have to give me a goddamn break here, man. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, what killed the Chinese economy was Xi Jinping's Maoist policies and the United States decoupling from China. Now, I just want to remind everybody that we're decoupl decoupling from China at a very rapid rate here. Take a look at this. Mexico has now surpassed China as top U.S. trading partner. And take a look at that massive dip. Take a look at that massive dip. That's China right there. It was once upon a time, you know, getting a very, very generous trade from us, and it has dropped tens of billions. And it continues to drop because this is a purposeful, uh, deliberate attempt at bringing down China down to size. And it is. It's actually working. The fact that you had Xi Jinping going to San Francisco and verbally capitulating to the United States 
Unbelievable. Never thought I'd ever see such a thing. And it's because he needs money. All right? They need investment to keep the communist government alive in China. I buy that All right. Oh, you Jesus. still owe me money from last time when I collected cans for you to rip off those simps. It was hard finding only Stella cans. Dude, go fucking piss you. D dude, leave me alone already, all right? I'm doing a goddamn show. And by the way, whoever uh, the, for the two people that bought a can right now, cheers to you guys, all right? Cheers to you. All right, man. Uh, I, uh, Merry Christmas. And or ha uh, ha happy Merry Hana Kwanzaa. Anyway, uh, as I was stating, this is what's happening, and that's why China is very desperate at this point in time. Let me show how desperate they are. Xi Jinping right now is going now to the EU and saying, Please, motherfucker, I want you to tread a little better with our communist government of China. All right, Chinese leader urges mutual beneficial cooperation with the European Union. The bloc, the EU bloc, wants Beijing to address a range of economic complaints. Huh? No, Ghost, you don't understand. I like being a part of the EU. You know what I'm talking about? Buy that Haywood? Power. What's going on to Haywood? Just a reminder, Ghost. We are not happy until you are not happy. Oh, and hello, Maria. I'm not happy. You're not happy until I'm not happy. All right. That's, that's great. All right. That's just great. Anyway, let's get back to China before we deviate anything. Now, as I was stating, China right now doesn't know what it's going to do. Xi Jinping is in all-out, uh, I mean, it, it's an all-out uh, emergency mode. Take a look at this. Xi Jinping goes full Stalin with purge. In a sign of instability in Beijing top's ranks, foreign... Oh, I'd buy oh, that for Randy Stair, god damn it. What's up, ghost? Been a big fan of your show. About to go start my shift at the supermarket soon. Dude, I'm. Dude, if y'all don't stop doing this shit, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. All right, I don't need to be putting up with this crap on a baller Friday, man. You know, you understand that? I deserve more respect. Don't you understand that? I deserve more respect. So look, I, I'm just gonna let. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna try my damnedest to keep going on. All right, but if I keep getting crap from you people, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Because I deserve more respect. Don't you understand that? I deserve more respect, you pieces of trash. Anyway, as I was stating, this goes to show you how desperate China is and how they're in complete emergency mode and Xi is going full Stalin, purging the foreign, uh, foreign policy minister, purging the defense minister and his official. Take a look at that. Here we go again. What did I tell you? Hold on, anal Just sausages. bought a can. It will be the crowning achievement on top of my rubbish pile Christmas tree this year. All right, that's not the real anal sausages, by the way. All right, but I appreciate if you did buy a can. I appreciate it. <laughs> buy that for a dollar. Hey, ghost. John Holmes. Thanks for doing the TCR. I won't be around for the troll show since I'm gonna be watching a movie at the theaters. John, dude, that's the fucking guy that killed all those people and fucking. What, Illinois or whatever that. All right, dude, that's enough of mass shooters and, you know, say that's enough of that crap. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop doing it, you know, if you want my opinion. All right, I'm just saying. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do the show. For, I, I am. I, you, you all hear me, right? You all hear. I mean, I'm trying to do this fucking show here. Anyway, people in China are starting to worry because this is exactly what is going to happen. What's going to happen is is the Chinese and the, the communists, they're going to implement another stringent totalitarian zero-COVID policy because of the uptick in supposed <laughs> I COVID. Oh, not this fucking guy. God damn it. Ghost has made a Jesus I was Christ. Why you said that it was a, oh, I have a random girl with me when you know that it's, it's Mrs. Ghost. Oh, fucking you know asshole. it's because I'm part of the inner circle that Mrs. Ghost, I have her on Fridays. She was actually tossing my sourdough over here. You but fuck. But she said, my sourdough, I don't have enough cucumbers, if you know what I mean. Piece hey, of hey, shit. Hey, what was that thing you were saying, Mr. Ghost? Honestly, Jay Money, you will always be more adventurous than Mr. Ghost. I think that's why him and his son are so distant. Oh, my. Wait, what? Wait, wait. That's kind of fucked up. Your, your wife is a bit of a fucking Mexican. God damn it, you... 
this shit I'm tired I'm tired I'm fucking tired of this crap Jesus Christ I'm fucking tired it's a baller Friday for Christ's sake man and you people are pissing me off this is supposed to be a serious show man I'm supposed to have serious listeners and you fucking trolls fuck it up I'm tired of you fucking people enough Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, t- I'm tired of these damn trolls, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just tired of them. I'm tired. And Urinator with a rumble rat. Just bought my can. Gonna modify it so I can use it as a fleshlight. While- oh, Jesus fucking. You're a sick piece of shit. I'm, dude, I'm tired of this shit. All right. I'm out here trying to do a serious show, and you people are making it sound like some disgusting, sick, disgusting, AIDS-infected bathhouse, for Christ's sake. I'm getting fucking monkeypox just fucking sitting here with some of you fucking people. I mean, you're making my show smell like butt crack. Take a whiff, right? Smell it. Smell it. It smells like fucking butt crack that with, with fucking it's bacon bitten and, and bacon ridden and fucking a little nutty or some shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, folks. Let me just calm down here. All right, Devious Dave. Hey, Ghost, I'm in my mid-20s. All right, I'm using my 401k for a down payment on a home. I was thinking about contributing just enough to the company to match it. Uh, Using a withdrawal. Look, I'll be honest with you, all right? I think that buying a home right now, if you can at least put down 20% on whatever the home value is, it is absolutely worth it. Because you can always pull out money on a home equity loan on the equity that you have on that loan come a rainy day. Or you can always refinance the home and take money out at the new valuation or the price of the home when the interest rates go down. So cheers to Devious Dave. All right, give me a smoke here. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to take a smoke. We're going to continue on with the broadcast, but goddamn, dude. By God. Anyway, people in China, they're starting to be a little apprehensive because of the failures of the Mao Zedong policies of Xi Jinping. They recognize that instead of him be either stepping down, being removed, he is going to make the people suffer because his damn policies weren't successful, and implementing another totalitarian zero-COVID policy seems to be right in the pike for old Xi Jinping. So take a look out for what the hell's going to happen over there in China, boy, because it seems as if that's exactly what they're going to do. Now, with that being said, let's... Oh, I'd shit. buy that for a dollar. Don't bag Daryl. I'm sick of people taking shots at me, too. Dude, you guys are fucking assholes, dude. I mean, first of all, I, I fucking like Pantera. I like Dimebag Daryl. And every time you people disrespect his death, I mean, you people are a bunch of macabre shitheads. I'm not fucking joking around. You you fucking rosebud asshole loving uh, Hillary Clinton bedpan licking, rusty trombone playing, Cincinnati bow tie receiving, taint tonguing, blue ball blowing pieces of turkey tit loving, fucking nipple clamp loving, butt plug up the ass looking shit. I'm tired of this crap. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I, I know that I'm fucking leaving a lot of dead air here because I keep smoking this tobacco that I scored from some Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. But by God, I can't fucking help it, man. Please excuse me. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, man. I got to fucking clean that screen, man. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the, the fucking draw on this pipe is tighter than a nun's butthole, for Christ's sake. Anyway, let's get back to the broadcast here, all right? Now, we're going to make a transition, no pun intended, from China now to the Israeli conflict. All right, Hamas is a creation of Israel. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's be honest, my music wouldn't have been as big if I wasn't taking shots on stage. My music is overhyped crap. Dude, that's enough of the fucking text-to-speeches, please, all right? We're trying to get into something serious. Look, right out of the Israeli Times, all right? Hamas, Israel's own creation. They're even admitting it on their own publications here. I mean, don't you understand that? 
I mean, take a look at this. Okay, take a look at this. Just, just read this for a second. So keep that in mind when you start hearing, oh, you know, so-and-so terrorist attack in Europe, so-and-so terrorist attack in UK, so-and-so terrorist attack in America. Hamas takes responsibility. Hamas takes responsibility. It's bullshit. All right, and hopefully you have your sunglasses on and you can see. And if you can't see, well, you know, keep playing your fucking video games, getting your thumbs bruised and putting a finger in your ass and gyrating it counterclockwise because that's the only goddamn feeling that's going to be real to you after what the hell's about to happen because you have your fucking eyes closed. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to get spit roasted by Jay Money and Tyrone and All your right. yelling I, is ruining the mood. I, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm tired of this shit. All right. I'm over here, I'm giving you fucking people millions of dollars of information. And what do you people do? You're just sitting there fanning your nuts, thinking you're accomplishing something by fucking shit-talking me. All right, that's what y'all fucking people think. That Yeah, you think that you're accomplishing something by shit-talking me. Well, fuck you, all right? Jesus Christ. I mean, what a fucked up Baller Friday, man. You know, I, I thought that, you know, maybe... If I said, hey, I'm going to do a, a Saturday Night Troll show, that you people would refrain from doing some shit like this. You know, that's what I, I don't know. I was thinking. I was thinking maybe I'm fucking stupid. I don't know. But I was thinking that maybe you people would stop doing this garbage. I'm sorry, folks. All right, let me continue. I'm, I'm going to try to continue. I'm genuinely going to try to. I'm not going to let these fucking pieces of shit win. All right. This is my Baller Friday, all right? It belongs to me. So let me continue. As I was stating before I got rudely interrupted, and fuck it, by the way, Jay Money, fuck you and that bitch that's over there, uh, you know, playing along, trying to make fun of me and my wife, all right? Fuck you. Anyway, as I was stating, let's transition since we're talking about Gaza, and we were just talking about how Vladimir Putin had his Middle Eastern tour. And he stopped by not only the UAE and Saudi Arabia, but also in Iran. We liberated these fucking pieces of shit, and these fuckers can't even give us the damn money that we're owed liberating these fucking people. I'm sorry, maybe this is a little off keister, and maybe some of you people don't want to hear this shit, but I take it personal. All right, I take it fucking personal. Anyway, we got Colonel Transisco with a diamond in D Live. He said, hashtag truly pissed host radio, hashtag. A true fake rage. I'm not faking no fucking rage, Colonel Transisco. It pisses me off, man. It pisses me I'd off. Buy that for a dollar. And here's Haywood. Hey, Ghost, can you get Maria Maria to stop sending me nudes? I'm sick of seeing her prolapsed asshole. Dude, why do you have to say that, Haywood? Why do you even have to bring up Maria Maria, for heaven's sake? What is your problem, man? What, why do you even bring it up? Seriously, man, Maria Maria is in the D-Live chat, not doing no one harm, and here you are, uh, badgering this poor woman. Jesus Christ. Hey, what's going on? Jag the Luxray, I miss my Ninja Gini. Hold on, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, no, probably not. They fucking, they, they spammed the hell out. Anyway, sorry, Jag the Luxray. I thought I read your Ninja Gini. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you very much, uh, Jag the Luxray. He said the trolls are just pieces of fucking low-grade garbage. And I agree, Jag Deluxe Ray. These fucking trolls piss me the hell off. And, you know, they're lucky we're not in a bar room right now because if we were in a bar room and these trolls were in my face, I'd stop a mud hole in their ass, kick it dry, and then take a dirty diarrhea shit in it, and all they could do is look back at me with a brown smile about it. These stupid two-bit fucking troll terrorist bastards. That's what they would do. Fucking jerks. Anyway, as I was stating, oh I'd Christ, what now? How do it name their kids? They throw them down the stairs and see what kind of sounds they make. No, that's not how they do it, all right? Name their kids by throwing a bunch of pots and pans on the floor, and that's how they name their kids. Ping pong pan. I'm just a joke, all right? I'm sorry. Now y'all are bringing me down to your level. Now you people are bringing me down to your level, and I'm sorry that we have to go there. But folks, I'm trying to do a serious show, as you can see, and it's very hard to do. It's very hard to do when you got trolls like this, dude. <sighs> all right. Anyway, let me take a smoke here. Please excuse me, folks. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm under a lot of distress in an attempt at trying to do this true capitalist radio show. I'm under a lot of distress. It's a baller Friday, for Christ's sake. Here, give me a smoke. 
That's it. <clears throat> Gotta hold it in, let it hit the brain. <clears throat> hold it in, let it hit the brain, dude, all right? <clears throat> what? I was joking. All right? I was fucking joking. All right? And if any are kind of offended, just blindfold them with dental floss, and they'll be just... I'm... It's a joke! I'm kidding! It's a joke! Come on, dude! Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going to... I'm... All right. Anyway, we're talking about Iran here, all right? And, uh, he, you know, the uh, president of Iran told Putin that the West backs Gaza genocide. And, of course, uh, you've got uh, Russia, Iran, and everybody trying to hop on the emotional bandwagon that seems to be pronounced in this whole issue with Gaza. So we shall see. No, look, dude, I'm, I was a, it was a joke, all right? I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Asian, all right? I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be black, I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be Hispandex, for Christ's sake. I happen to have a whole bunch of friends that happen to be... I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Hold on just a second. Here, I gotta acknowledge some donations here uh, in Buy Me a Coffee here, all right? Sorry about that, folks. Uh, put the PC shot on. We've got uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch. Wah, wah. Stop crying. You repeat the same shit every TCR and call it serious. I watch any TCR from the last two years. and I, Dude, shut up. If that's what you think, then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here right the fuck right now if that's what you think, you fucking trash. All right? Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe these fucking people, man. All right, I bet you go in front of battered women's shelters to shadow box, huh? I bet you're the kind of person that does to go uh, get a date in front of a fucking abortion clinic, because you know they're fucking. Anyway, Jag Deluxe Ray said, fuck you, I never liked you, I'm trying my best to be a suck-up mod, but you really don't pay attention to me, fuck you, and the... Oh, dude, that's, there's no way that's Jag Deluxe Ray, all right? That's not the real Jag the Lux Ray, dude. All right, give me a fucking... That ain't him. I'm not... I don't believe that. You guys are fucking pieces of shit. All right? You guys are a bunch of Leslie Jones eating... Uh, anus autistic loving, uh, meat gazing, beach tits having, uh, a butt dart playing, feminine penis sucking pieces of trash. I, I mean, get the fuck out of here. All right, look, how, how, how long have I been on here? How long have I been on? I've been on here for almost, what, uh, two and, only two and a half hours? It feels like three and a half. Only two and a half hours? It feels like I've been on here for three and a half dealing with you fucking people. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, uh, Iran, uh, his president, tells Putin that uh, the West backs Gaza genocide... And look, the reason the Iranians are talking this garbage is because, you know, it looks as if we may be, you know, attempting to bomb, 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 bomb Iran. Take a look at this. U.S. warns against Iran-Russia expanding military cooperation. So as this meeting was happening, the Defense Department warns against uh, Iran-Russia military cooperation. Because as I was stating, I do believe that we are very close to potentially with a direct confrontation with Iran. We are very close. And I know there's a lot of folks out there that are saying, well, Ghost, I don't want to go fight for anybody's war. I don't want to fight for... Hey, if we have to bomb, 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 bomb Iran, and we need you, and we need to call you up on the draft card, you better go and put, up your, uh, put on your greens and be a part of Mother Green's killing machine. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is your country, and you were accorded the spoils of this country, and now it's your turn to take care of this country. All right? That's the whole reason why you have the luxuries that you do. Getting your thumbs bruised on a game controller, watching animations and being obsessed with them after you're 40 years fucking old. All right? Cosplaying and all that other bullshit. This is your country, and if you people are out here saying, I don't want to fight, I don't want to, yeah, 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 well, then you're fucking four-flushing pieces of traitorous trash, and you need to get the fuck out of my country right now and go to that stupid, dumb fucking ice hole <laughs> in Canada. All right, go to Canada, for Christ's sake. Son of a bitch. All right, we, we need people that are going to protect America. And ghost my, ghosty my man in Rumble Rants. Go fuck yourself, dude. Put the PC shot on. We got j Sav over here. Lies and falsehoods. Uh, ghost is a psyop. He's invested in Raytheon. Resist this carpetbagger. 
Yeah, well, whatever. It doesn't matter what I'm invested in. All I'm saying is, is America needs to show that it is the supreme sole superpower in the international community. And what better way to do it than going into Iran and showing the world how it's done? All right, not be like Russia over here, uh, you know, fucking sitting over here sending man after man after man to die in order to overwhelm the enemy. We're going to go in there and we're just going to fucking just, we're going to kick the shit out of them. All right? I'm going to kick the shit out of them. That's what we fucking do. That's what America does, all right? Mother Green and her killing machine is what America is, boy. All right? All right. Anyway, as I was stating before, I don't know, Jacev tried to in, in, insert some, or I don't know what the hell he was trying to insinuate there. But anyway, as I was stating, U.S. warns against Iran and Russia expanding military cooperation. This is right as they were meeting. This is not a coincidence as I stated, I think that we're getting very close to bomb, 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 Iran. And look, I don't want to hear you people saying that you don't want to go fight a war, all right? If it happens, it happens. Do you understand? If it happens, it happens. And look, as I stated on the last broadcast, the Houthis in Yemen hitting up private freighters in the Red Sea is almost the pretext for us to do so. And take a look at this. Biden aid says Iran's help plan and execute attacks by Yemen Houthis. What did I tell you? Huh? What did I say? that for a dollar. I told you that this is the pretext and it's happening right now. Didn't I tell you this? I said, look, these attacks that the Houthis are doing to the freighters in the Red Sea are going to be the groundwork. Listen to the last broadcast. I said it. And I'll tell you, I'm, ain't I good at this game? I'm good. At, it's almost as if I'm involved in all this shit or something. You can almost make that case. You can almost make that case. What is a Catholic priest's favorite song? The Magic Flute to Name Minor. Skip that fucking shit. You sick son of a bitch. Good God. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted here, all right, I'm trying to. You know, uh, kick you guys some fucking international relations knowledge, and it doesn't seem like none of you people give a trash. Hold on, we got j who said, uh, just how we kicked the shit out of Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan, right, bitch? Well, let me let me tell you something, j -Sev. Vietnam is now producing our products. Take a look at your latest textile and see where the fuck it's made there, boy. Secondly, Iraq, we have brought it up in our image, for Christ's sake. They're Americanized over there. All right. The only factions that are trying to get uppity are these ridiculous Shiite factions that Al Sadr, Motada Al Sadr, who we should have killed back in fucking 2006 when we went into his fucking town looking for that fat piece of shit. We should have killed that fucker then. Excuse me. I'm sorry. But no, he has been a thorn in our side, and him and his fucking stupid goddamn Shiite Muslims are the only fucking people that are giving us any fucking problem over there. All right. And Afghanistan, what are you talking about? Afghanistan works for us. All right? Afghanistan works for us. Guess what? They're attacking Iran at their fucking border. Guess what? They're attacking Pakistan at their fucking border. Guess what? They're making the whole region destabilize like a son of a bitch. Exactly what the black operatives of the United <laughs> States wants. What is it, Haywood? Me and Maria Maria are going to run to Canada together to dodge the draft. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna you're you're now you're running away with Maria Maria, huh? Now you're running away with old Maria Maria. That's great. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, that that just goes to show you you don't know your ass from your elbow. All right, all right. Battles don't mean that you win the long term war, baby. All right. The Vietnamese work for us. All right. Iraqis, they are uh, literally they're gonna be Japan in like twenty years. All right. They're going to be just like Japan, not even joking. And Afghanistan, we want it to be a destabilized shithole because that whole region is surrounded by our enemies. So what better way to just leave all our armaments over there and have these fucking whacked-ass wild Jehudis that love fucking killing each other anyway use those weapons on our fucking enemies? All right, you got to think about things in the long term. You see, many of you folks that think you know things about foreign relations and foreign policy, you don't know shit. You don't know anything. You wish you did, but you don't. All right, all you want to do is capitulate to the enemy, much like what Trump wants to do. Uh, we have to go suck 
Putin's cock. I'd buy that for a dollar. We gotta go suck Xi Jinping's cock. We gotta suck little Kim in North Korea's cock. That's which that, that's literally the diplomacy of the Republican Party and Donald Trump at this point in time. Which is bullshit. Bullshit. Put the PC shut up. We got JSEV. Common area modern war L's. I'll serve crack before I serve this country. Anyone in chat feel free to reach out if you want to dodge the draft. I can give advice. You know you just committed a federal crime, boy. You understand that, JSEV? I hope there's a federal authority watching over your ass right now for you saying that. How dare you? You treasonous piece of little fucking pissant garbage. All right? I bet if we got you on the goddamn horn right now and we take took a listen to your vernacular, to your voice, you would sound like you popped out of the anal passage of Richard Simmons. That's why you're talking like that. All right, because you're fucking weak. And how did you become weak? Because you had the luxury of being in the safety of the United States of America. You understand that? You had the luxury. You had the luxury, J7. That's why you could be such a fucking weak asshole hiding wherever the fuck you're hiding instead of being a man and standing up and fucking protecting your country. You want to know why you don't want to fight? Because you got nothing to fight for, all right? You're probably an AIDS-ridden that has already been rejected by all of your family, and that's why you have no fucking identification with country or culture. You're a fucking sick piece of shit. Son of a bitch. I love this country. I love America. I certainly don't want to see it destroyed. I certainly want to see it preserved. I certainly want to see the sustainability of this country beyond the next century. So, let me tell you, if you're not willing to fight for this country, then get the fuck out of it right the hell right now. If your number is called in the draft and you're not willing to fight for this country, then get the fuck out of here right now. We don't want you. All right, go to that ice hole over there in Canada with Justin Trudeau, fucking Fidel Castro's offspring over there. All right, go down to South America where all those fuckers are trying to get the fuck out of those countries. Why don't you go down there and see how fucking well that shit works out for you? Son of a bitch. I can't believe these people. These fucking people out here are talking garbage about America and yet reaping the spoils of living in this goddamn country. How dare you fucking people? And look at them in the chat. They're proud of it. They're proud of being treasonous assholes. Look at these pieces of crap. They're proud of it for Christ's sake. You son of a bitch. Yeah, how fucking dare you people? You fucking pieces of un-American trash. I tell you that right now. Let me tell you, if you do not want to fight for America, you should get out of here. You should leave America now. This is a I mean, look, the only reason that we have safety in this country, the only reason that you can have the spoils of this country, the only reason that you can go to a supermarket and have food plentiful on those shelves is because of the United States of America and the protection it gives each and every one of you. You won't open RG lines to take my call because you're nothing but a bitch. I'm not going to open it up because this ain't that kind of show there, j Seb. And what the hell are you going to tell me, huh? What are you going to tell me? Oh, you know what, Boomer? Uh, you're an asshole. Okay, you're going to talk to me in your weak-ass little voice. You know, you're an asshole, you know? I, 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 don't have to, I don't have to listen to you, Boomer, okay? I like to wear leather, like, like legging jeans, okay? So I can show off anal camel toe, okay? And that's what'll prohibit the enemy from killing me, okay? I'm going to show them my ass. I'm going to show them my ass, and I'm going to show them anal camel toe. That, that, that's I want. You're going to give me that kind of fucking goddamn debate? I don't want to hear it. All right? I don't want to fucking hear it, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. I don't want to fucking hear it. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I, I mean, I'm trying to get to the, you know, the crux of the matter. I'm trying to get to some serious subject matters out here. And we continue to, uh, you know, be sidetracked. Anyway, as I stated on the last broadcast that the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea... So this is all this cloak and dagger CIA operative games are all about. This is what foreign policy is, dude. I'd buy that. What's going on, Doom Cat? I would love to get drafted to war. If our president is an anti-Semite, send all military men to kill all. Uh, all right, that's Type enough. Type one if you want his 
be nuked no, by DNA dividers. No, 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 dude, that's enough, all right? What the hell is that kind of fucking garbage of a text-to-speech, for heaven's sake? If you're going to be text-to-speech in some shit like that, then don't even text-to-speech at all. I'd buy that Oh, and hey, look, here's Jay said. I bring up valid points, and all you can do is throw insults like a scared little child. At least open the line and stop being a little bitch. Dude, what are you talking about, dude? I've turned you into a mental midget. With the substance upon substance upon substance I threw on the debating table, j Sam. What the fuck are you talking about? I made you look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack, intellectually, all right? So why don't you sit there, take your thumb out your ass, put it in your mouth, because that's all the flavor that you're going to get from this goddamn conversation, boy, all right? Stupid son of a bitch. Anyway, as I was stating, let's move on, all right, to another part of the globe that I think uh, everybody needs to take a look at, and that is Venezuela and Guyana. And now we're at the portion of the True Capitalist Radio Show called Totally Useless News. And... <laughs> I'd oh, buy Jesus that Christ. Here we got Floppy, all right? Hey. Um. Hi. So. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. I, all right, I mean, I've had enough. I just... I wanna... You know... Well, can you uh, cut the crap? Uh, uh um, oh, erm. No, oh, you fucking racist. Skip that asshole. Listen, enough. All right. Thank God that I am uh, ending the fucking show here. All right. Thank God. Thank God I'm ending the fucking show because I can't take any more of this crap. All right. I mean, I certainly deserve more respect than what you people are giving me here in this broadcast. You know that? And then. And, and, uh, and look, you, you people want me to, to fucking look at mentions, for fuck's sake? I mean, why do you want me to look at mentions so you could fucking make fun of me because you people are fucking trash? Is that it? Is that it? I mean, look at this. Look, uh, uh, Hold on. Is this what you want me to fucking look at? Put the PC show. What the fuck is this? Put the PC show. What the fuck is this crap? Like, I got some fucking chastity or something? I got a fucking male chastity or something? Like, on that fucking Fruit Bowl streamer Destiny? And what the hell is this? Why is Mickey Mouse in this scene here? And wait, I don't know how many children I... Oh, God. The United Nations. Yeah, no shit. I've always said the United Nations was a bunch of garbage, but I don't want to get in that soliloquy now. And look, this is supposedly me drinking a Bud Light. I don't drink Bud Light. And secondly, I'm not in a fucking wheelchair. I don't know how many times... And look, I'm tired of you guys fucking making me relive this bad memory of my childhood, and look, I'm going to repeat this story, because I don't think people know what this means, okay? Whenever you see these trolls post something like this, they're trying to remind me of a time in my childhood during Christmas time that affects me to this day. Okay, my mom and father decided that they were going to, you know, take me to go see Santa Claus, like most parents do, and we waited in line and did the whole schmoz, and then when it was time for me to sit on Santa's lap and and, and tell him what I wanted for Christmas, I was in the process of telling him what I wanted for Christmas, and I, I didn't think I was, I don't know, saying anything that extensive or it was that long, but he looks to his, like, helper and says, can somebody get this little bastard? And I will never forget. I'm not even joking. That's, yeah, I, you see, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. All right, because that fucking hurt me. Because I thought, man, fucking, this is supposed to be Santa. And he called me a little bastard. He said, can somebody get this little bastard? So whenever you see these fucking idiots post this shit, that's what they're trying to do. you know. They're and then this with the whole rock ape shit. All right. I've, and then the squirrels. Yeah, that's great. And what the fuck is that? Oh, dude. A, a, a fuck you with the Yosemite ham jokes. All right. Don't fucking call me Yosemite ham, you fucking pieces of trash. And look, there's there's Santa throwing me into a wood chipper. That's great. That's great. Ah, oh, fuck you with the fucking Dylan Mulvaney. Go fuck yourself, dude. All right. And what, what? <laughs> I'd buy that All right, here's Froppy. Just a reminder to vote for Froppy for the Ghosty Awards. Yeah, Ghosties. Because, well, you know, oh, I Jesus. mean, if you want to. It's just. All right. Can someone get this little bastard? Uh, dude, that's ha, enough. Ha, ha. Dude, that's uh, you fucking piece of trash. And what is that? That's supposed to be a Jewish dog? That's fucking horrible. What a racist. You guys are racist. Look at this shit. My fans, by the way. I'm just letting everybody know. These are my fans, all right? My fans, by the way. 
Yeah, look at the true parrot rate. You'll fuck off. All right, all right, I'm done. All right, take this off. Take this shit off of here. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the totally useless news segment of the broadcast, all right? Now, I'm not too sure if this is totally useless news, but we're going to go ahead and go into it anyway. Did you see this? This is a testament to the absolute state of fucked up fucking shitbird America. Take a look at this. Psychologists say they can't meet the growing demand for mental health care. Oh, oh. All right. If you think that you have had a bad hand, if you think that you've had it bad, you think that you had it an unfair deal, there is always millions of people <laughs> that have had it far right worse now. than you. What is it, Santa? Since TCR is ending momentarily, you can get back on the nice list if you give us a ghost show tomorrow. I you was, little bastard. I, I, fuck you, asshole. All right. I, I'm, I was going to do a Saturday Night Troll show tomorrow, but after you fuckers have ruined this true capitalist radio show, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll think about it, dude. Anyway, as I was stating, I'm not big on mental health. All right? I'm not big on mental health. I think mental health is a fucking scam. It's, it's a, it feeds into people's irresponsibility. It feeds into people's virtue signaling. It feeds into all this shit. What? The totally useless news? You mean to tell me the last two hours weren't totally useless? Uh, By the way, you, Yosemite dude. Ham, you still haven't done radio graffiti or the ghost show. No wonder that homeless man called you a little bastard. Always was. Always will be. Dude, I'm telling you right now, y'all better cut the crap. You see... I mean, y'all want me to do a Saturday Night Troll show and you people are disrespecting me on this fucking serious show like this? Are you fucking serious? I mean, what goes through your head? What is the rational thinking in your head that makes you believe that you're going to get some kind of positive response from me by fucking treating me like this? Huh? I mean, is this how you treat your fucking dirty dish rag whore mother? Huh? Is this how you treat your dickless, ballless father and it's effective or something? Because it certainly isn't effective with me. All right? And by the way, most of you probably don't have any daddies anyway. I mean, your mom's probably not even home right now. She's probably out at Applebee's looking for Alabama Black Snake so she can bring home while you're... Bing, bong, oh, bing, Jesus bing, Christ. Bing, 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 the Northern bing, Yankee bing, in the house. Bing, 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 bing. What's going on to the Northern Happy Yankee? Happy Faller Friday. Great to see you live, Ghost. Thank you, man. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Fuck the psychotropic drug industry. Thank you. Keep shooting pearls for these pieces of trash. We have to turn them into real Americans. Thank you, the Northern Yankee. I tell you, that's a cherry on top right there. Thank you, the Northern Yankee. Because, by God, all I've had was a bunch of negativity this, this whole damn show. All I've had was a bunch of fucking dirty dish rag whore mother terrorist out here flapping their fat sausages of fingers on the keyboard, talking a bunch of malarkey at me, knowing that if they were in front of me in front of a bar room or something, they wouldn't be talking that trash. All right? I'm a bad motherfucker. You're lucky this that we're on a fiber optically connected world that we call the internet, because I'll tell you right now, I could clench my fist, put them in my goddamn pocket, step outside my goddamn door, and be arrested for carrying lethal weapons. That's how much of a badass I am, boy. All right? That's why these people are out here on a fiber-optically connected world called the Internet talking this garbage, because they wouldn't be saying that to my face. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. All right? I'd stomp their teeth so far down their goddamn throat, they'll be able to chew their own hemorrhoids, these damn sons of bitches. All right? So don't fuck with me, man. I'm not even joking around. You fucking people, yeah, I'm telling you, you talk a lot of garbage on that internet, boy. I tell you that right goddamn now. All right, I'm going to take a smoke here. And <laughs> what the that fuck, that man? Funny how you cry about mental health being fake unless it involves gun violence, or you use it as an excuse to not show up. The reason you say the exact same insults every show is because you're a dead meme with no real talent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why you're fucking sitting here listening to me, probably straddling a speaker up your prolapse anus, trying to get yourself a fucking prostate massage, you son of a bitch. So sit there and shut your stupid fucking AIDS-infected ass up, all right? Nobody gives a shit about what your fucking fruity ass has to say, froppy, all right? Fucking son of a bitch. Go to a goddamn AIDS fucking Christmas giveaway or whatever the fuck you're supposed to be doing right now, all right? 
I'm, I'm, t- I'm taking a smoke here. Please excuse me, folks. I'm sorry, man. These sons of bitches are really pissing me off. I'll tell you that right goddamn. They're harshing my mellow on a baller Friday. I can tell you that right goddamn now. Give me a smoke, dude, all right? I'm telling you, man. I'm sorry. Anyway, psychologists say they can't meet the growing demand for mental health. And you know what I say? Fuck your mental health. All right? That's what I got to say, all right? If you're an autist, you want to know how to get rid of autism and Asperger's? Just pretend you don't have it. Don't tell anybody you have it. Don't tell anybody you were once treated for it. Just shut your fucking stupid mouth. But guess what? You're not going to. Why? Because you tards use that as a get out of tard free card. And that is applicable to almost every other mental health case out there. You understand that? It is just an excuse for people to be pieces of shit. All right? Have you seen those depression commercials? These depression medication commercials? It's always some dumb bitch that has all the time in the world on her hands. You know, they show some bitch like, I find myself depressed. And she's got a nanny taking care of her fucking brat. She's out there painting finger paintings and shit. I am so unhappy. And I don't... But still I, until I started taking happy pill, now I feel great. And my husband... Fuck you. All right? Fuck you and your mental health. And you know, I just dropped about 10 people on Rumble... Because they're probably a bunch of people that are fucking taking psychotropic drugs. And they certainly don't want to be taken out of that fucking haze. I tell you that right goddamn now. All right? So once again, all right, you want to get rid of autism? You want to get rid of Asperger's? Don't say you have it. Pretend you don't have Don't tell anybody, but you're not gonna. You want to know why? Because you fucking tards wear that like a fucking badge of honor. I'm retarded. I'm autistic. I'm retarded. I'm Asperger's. I'm retarded. Anything you do wrong, you get that get out of tarred free card, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you fucking get caught like, uh, what were you doing trying to meet with a 13-year-old girl? I'm autistic. I'm retarded. What were you trying to do, corner that girl into camming with you that was... I'm autistic. I'm retarded. So anyway, and and that goes for depression. Like, oh, I'm depressed. Who isn't depressed, dude? All right? All right? I mean, you know, they call this earth Mother Earth. All right? That's why when they say, life's a bitch, and then you die, that, my friend, is why. You get it? So get over it. All right, have a drink. Have a fucking drink or something, all right? If you're fucking upset, have a fucking drink. All right, have some smoke or some shit. Have a cigar or some shit. Fucking sitting over here, fucking put popping fucking psychotropic drugs that are fucking eating your liver faster than somebody who's fucking drinking a fucking case of beer and a, a fifth of fucking liquor a day, for Christ's sake. That's why all these fucking people that take all these psychotropic drugs, all right, and, and just, I want you all to notice this. Just notice this. Out of observation, every one of these tards that take massive psychotropic drugs, take a look at the lines on their forehead. Take a look at the lines on their forehead. The lines on their forehead signify liver damage. And take a look at how many folks that are, you know, psychotropic drug-taking sons of bitches, and take a look at how creased (laughs) their foreheads are. Jesus Christ. You keep saying how the only cure to mental health is to just ignore it. Of course, this is coming from a 70-year-old man who still gets emotional because a dude in a beard called him a little bastard. Get to radio graffiti. Hey, I'm not taking psychotropic drugs for it, all right? Did it, does it affect me? Do I think about fucking Santa when I was on his fucking lap and, hey, can somebody get this little bastard? Does that affect, yes, it does. Am I using that as an excuse to not go to fucking work? Am I using that as an excuse to be like, ah, I'm just a fucking loser and it was because fucking uh, Santa Claus fucking told me I was a little bastard? No, all right? So shut the fuck, and everybody in the goddamn chat room, shut your stupid stinking salmon smelling holes too. You people are making me sick. All right, you're fu- you put you people are making me fucking sick. You know what? Keep taking your psychotropic drugs. Fucking take twelve of them while you're at it. You fucking stupid losers. All right. Now guess what? While you stupid jerk offs are out here being mental cases and popping psychotropic drugs to keep you in fucking la la land from dealing with the actual realities of shit around you, take a look at what the Pentagon wants. The Pentagon is in a rush to deploy AI enabled weapons and it's going to kill us all. 
So just imagine here in the next five to ten years, we have AI weapons that are patrolling the streets, that can shoot people at will, and that have the aim of absolute perfection because, I mean, this is what these people are developing. huh? While you people are out here saying, Oh my God, I'm depressed. I'm retarded. I'm meh, meh, meh. I mean, while you people are wasting your lives and your time doing this, don't you understand why the globalists, in their minds, I'm not saying they're right, but you have to understand why the globalists are saying that you people are nothing but a bunch of useless eaters. You know, you're not even concerned about what the fuck's going on in civilization. All you're worried about is feeding your fat little gut and making sure your stupid, simplistic brain is entertained. All right? That's all you're worried about. Look, look at you people. You don't care. I just gave you a world of information, all right? And you people don't give two fucking rat's asses. And while you people are out here in la-la land tripping out on whatever fucking chemical-induced psychotropic drug of yours, you've got this authority, this globalist authority, about to use AI to enslave whatever's left of fucking useless humanity and it's going to make a brave new world or uh, 1984 look like a day in the fucking playground. All right? I mean, I already showed y'all this shit the last show, but I'll show it again because it's, it bears repeating. I mean, you integrate a chat GPT. You integrate that with an Ant-Man type of Boston Dynamics exoskeleton. All right? You combine that with, with this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this tracking system. Look at this. Look at this is fucking RoboCop. Look at this. It is a dead shot between the eyes, perfect every time. You people, while y'all are worried about, you know, I, I'm autistic, I'm retarded, I'm depressed, I need Zoloft, I need Prozac, I, and whatever else is calcifying your fucking pineal glands out there to make you have that fluoride stare, we have the globalists that are creating a fucking AI police state right underneath our fucking noses, and you people don't even give a shit, all right? I mean, it's like those fucking neutrino beams that the globalists send to my brain, you know? Ghost, why do you care about these people, ghost? They don't even care about themselves, ghost! They don't even care about their own children, ghost! We've got to put <laughs> ghost! We've got to make AI, which will be the Antichrist, ghost! It will be all the answers, it will be the new God, ghost! We will be able to control humanity at all assets, in all capacity, Ghost. We must do it, Ghost. These are useless eaters, Ghost. They're dumb, Ghost. They don't even care about themselves, Ghost. They don't even care about their own children, Ghost. So there it is. And by the way, Pino Shea's up because he knows that this is probably the end of the broadcast because I, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I've already been on here for three hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for Jesus. A Here we go. WWW Little Bastard, 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 Little Chances are the metals used aren't that dense. Could get a pocket-sized bag of thermite made from art supplies and fry it. In NYC, whoa, people push wait, those robot whoa. hammer dogs into a sewer. It'll be fun. Oh, Froppy, uh, uh, hey, look, any federal authorities listening in, uh, you know, that was Froppy. That was not me, all right? All right, so if you need a federal authority watching over somebody, it's that fucking fruit bowl Froppy. It could be the AIDS infecting his brain already. Uh, Ghost, my man. Ghosty, why you keep ripping off? Alex Jones has been ripping me off, all right? He's been ripping me off for 16 years, and this son of a bitch can't even buy me a cup of coffee, fucking Alex Jones, dude. And we got Mama Luigi. Your globalist voice sounds hot. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, good God. And we got $10 in a rumble rants by trolling the interwebs. He said, so they fuck everyone up with drugs and then bitch and whine about it. What the fuck is that? I'm just, I'm just saying, man, this is how it is. This is why I'm trying to wake some folks up out there. You're not going to be able to wake up everybody. Some people are completely conditioned to their own... Uh, uh, this is below savory. This is uh, slavery. This is uh, serfdom. I mean, at least slaves, I mean, they were clothed, housed, and fed properly so they could wake up each day 
I mean, this is serfdom, dude. It's just, this is fucking bad. Anyway, as I was stating, once again, the Pentagon rushed to deploy AI-enabled weapons, and it's going to kill us all. And I certainly believe this, and I wish that some of you people would take this a little serious. Of course, it's easier said than done, all right? And uh, by the way, cheers to trolling the interwebs, hooking it up today with a 20 and $10 rumble rant. Cheers to you, dude. And uh, Devious Dave, uh, do you know what the state gun is? No, I don't know what the sta state gun. No, I don't know what the state gun is. Uh, but thank you, Devious Dave. Anyway, folks, I think that concludes uh, this uh, episode of True Capitalist Radio, okay? Anyway, I, I'm going to try to do a Saturday Night Troll show tomorrow. Uh, but let me tell you, after the what you trolls did today and what y'all did to my show today, I don't know, man. I have to... I have to think about it. I have to sleep on it or something, dude, because I'm telling you, you people, every time I try to do a serious show, because that's what True Capitalist Radio is. It's a serious show. All right? Every time I try to do it, you turn it into the ghost show, and that really fucking pisses me off. I mean, that's an insult to me. You understand? That's a fucking insult. Anyway, before I go, I am supposed to open up the treasure chest over there in DLive. And I'm going to do that here in about a minute. But first, I do want to remind everybody to please add your bookmarks and add to your favorites my official website, ghost.report. And by the way, I do have a cans on sale. All right. Believe it or not, signed cans by yours truly on sale. And look, they're only going to be on sale for the next week. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to have them on sale all fucking you know, for the rest, well, I, I, there's a limited time, all right, a limited time, and the only reason is, and I, I'm, I'm not even joking, people emailed me on Report saying, hey, I want one, it's Christmas time, that sort of thing, so let me go ahead and put the uh, link for all those that are uh, wanting a signed beer can of yours truly, this is an art piece, if you will, here it is right there, okay, there's the link in the Rumble chat, let me go ahead and put it in the D Live chat, all right, here it is. And uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and open up the treasure chest over here in D Live, and we're gonna do that here. In and here, there's Pino Shea. He's like, "Hurry up! Hurry up! I'm hungry! Hurry up!" See, there he is, right there. Anyway, let me go ahead and open up the treasure chest. This is 589 lemons in five, four, three, two, one. Here it is, right there. We're we're distributing the 598 lemons. And cheers to Colonel Transisco, who said ghost equals Alex Jones, true or false. That's false. All right, that's fucking false, for Christ's sake, all right? Uh, but anyway, I will tell you the top five lemon getters here shortly. I want to thank everybody uh, for being here on the Baller Friday Breakdown in True Capitalist Radio. I know there's a lot of folks that have been telling me, man, ghost, do more True Capitalist Radio. So I'm doing it. We will see if I do a Saturday Night Troll show. And by the way... Follow me on Twitter or X or whatever the hell this is called. I am verified, folks. Okay? The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores. The Ghost Report is the official uh, Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, the top five lemon getters on DLive are IP2 Connoisseur with 99 lemons, Ninja Warrior 0174 with 57 lemons, Colonel Transisco with 41 lemons, Greedy Hambone with 33.5 lemons, and Carl I Can 10 with 20 lemons in or out of the treasure chest. All right. Anyway, folks, thank you all very much for tuning in with me. Let's see if we'll do a Saturday Night Troll show tomorrow. I'm really upset at what you people have done. I'm not even, I'm really upset because this is a serious subject. Okay, this is, this is a serious show, and I'm trying to make this as serious as I possibly can. All right? So anyway, with that being said, uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, till next time, follow me on Twitter. All right, you always get the 411 on what's happening with me on Twitter. And of course, the Twitter name, The Ghost Report, all one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report on Twitter, X, or whatever it's called. All right? Anyway... Hold on, wait a minute. Why is Pippa's, tre Pippa's trending? Pippa! You can confuse the eye facial recognition with face paint that resembles a Pete Mondrian painting. What? Are you cultured enough to know that artist? Uh, dude, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still shocked that Pippa is trending, for Christ's sake. Is this not me, Magic? I mean, good God! 
Is this not me, Magic? What the hell else could go on on this damn baller Friday, for Christ's sake? What the hell else could happen? Jesus Christ. Anyway, what the hell did you say, Haywood? AI facial recognition with face paint and that resembled... I have fucking no idea, dude. All right? What fucking... I have no idea what the hell it is. All right? Anyway, thank you all for tuning in with me. Uh, follow me on Twitter. You'll get to know... Also, I'm also on uh, Instagram. So if you want to be... You hook me up on Instagram as well. Capitalist Ghost, okay? All one word, no underscores. Capitalist Ghost on Instagram. And hold on. I got one more diamond from Colonel Transisco on DLive. And he said, I'll put 80 bucks on Ghost Not Show and tomorrow. Come on, dude. All right. All right. Why do you got to be so pessimistic, for Christ's sake? Come on, man. Anyway, folks, thank you for tuning in with me. I will see you soon. Until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo!